Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH and I am back for another accessible iOS app video. This one, just as I'm recording this, came out on the scene not terribly long ago, a week or two maybe. Not sure when I'm going to release this to the channel, but probably fairly soon here. Believe it or not, we are looking at Talking Typer for iOS. Yes, iOS now has a an accessible typing teacher program that is accessible to voiceover users, which is great because <clears throat> a lot of schools, you know, are issuing people iPads, um, both for mainstream students and um, specifically for blind and visually impaired, just because of the reputation that Apple and voiceover has for accessibility, not to mention all the third party apps. But, you know, working in the VR a blindness industry myself, field myself, a lot of times we figure, you know, we find people that are, you know, high school age and they don't know how to type. And in today's world, that's just not a good idea. Um, typing is actually a really important piece um, because most jobs, entry level or whatever, are going to have some degree of uh, computer use requirements. So, we have Talking Typer. Now you might be familiar with this if you have used Talking Typer for Windows. Uh, American Printing House for the Blind, APH, is making this thing. And just a little bit of a disclosure, I did actually help beta test this a while back last year, so I knew that it was going to be coming out at some point. But I have my iPad Pro here, and I have my Logitech K810 keyboard here as well which I just did a video for, and I will probably do that, release that video for you guys prior to this one. So then you have my keyboard review and the app that will help you learn to type using it. So it's all paired up. We are in the app. I'm going to hit the left and right arrow keys together to turn quick nav on. So voiceover users, um, if you're new to voiceover, quick nav when you're using a Bluetooth keyboard is a quick way to, if I hit the left and right arrow keys together, I can turn quick nav on and off, which means I can just use my arrow keys to represent like left or right flicks. So I don't have to hold down the voiceover keys um, <clears throat> to do that. So I'm, throughout this video, I'm gonna be toggling between quick nav on and off. So when I do navigation, I'm gonna wanna turn quick nav on. And then when I am actually typing, I turn quick nav off because, you know, letters can also have some quick nav keys in some cases as well. So we are at the home screen or the main screen of the talking typer program. And it'll just give you a little bit of a tour. Again, if you've used the Windows version, a lot of this is probably going to be fairly familiar to you. So I'm going to, again, have to you have to have voiceover loud enough so that you'll just be able to hear it over the mic. Um, can't do direct feed audio. Yell at Apple for that for me, please. Maybe they'll put it back in. Anyway, so we start with a login button in the upper left. If I flick to the right or right arrow, talking typer, heading. there's our heading for talking typer. Log out, Log out. We're not logged in or out. We're just using kind of a guest thing. So the nice thing with this is um, if I want, like for me, I don't care because it's just it's my personal iPad. I'm just going to play with it from time to time myself. But if you're in a school situation, maybe you have several people using the iPad, just like the um, PC version, you actually can set up multiple users. So you can give them a username and password, and then you can track each person's progress that way. So that's kind of, uh, that's going to be helpful for, I think, for a lot of people. Current user. So current user. Lessons and drills. Button. So now we go to our main buttons. So the whole front of the screen, you have these ginormous orange buttons uh, on this kind of, what is it, like a light blue background. Um, but you have, so you start with uh, lessons and drills. We'll go there in a moment. Keyboard Explorer, that's kind of just, you know, it'll let you freely type. And just uh, you can identify the letters and the keys that are on whatever keyboard you have paired. Games. Button. Games. All you have in there is your traditional hurry scurry, which is your you know basically you're trying to type 
uh, letters or words or phrases or whatever, um, as many as you can in a certain time frame. Um, that's from the PC program as well. Administrator, Administrator that's again, that's where you're going to have your options for, you know, setting up and managing students and seeing how well they're doing, that kind of a thing. Pretty obvious there. And then your help, you got your manual and things like that in there. So you're at the bottom of the screen. Let's go back up to the meat of this thing. So with quick nav on, if I hit the up and down keys together, we're going to go to lessons and drills. Okay, we're going to do that. So learning modes now, I can do practice drills. Lessons, or custom lessons. So if you take the time, if you are an administrator, a teacher, an educator, whatever, I haven't played really too much with that part of it. I tinkered with it just to make sure that it worked a little bit in the beta. But um, you can make up your custom drills. So, you know, if they have certain letters that they're really having problems with or things like that, you can make up your own drills and stuff too. So let's, um, let's see what practice drills are. Let's go in there. Now, once we get, um, into a lesson and the actual, you will hear audio direct feed when we're given words because it has its own voice for that, but for navigation, we're using voiceover. So again, sorry for the indirect audio for voiceover, but it's all I can do right now. Practice drills. Practice drills. Practice lessons. Learning modes. Back button. Okay, so let's go. Practice lessons. Heading. Practice lessons. Beginner. Heading. Home keys for the left hand. Button. Home keys for the right hand. Button. Home keys for the left and right hand. We got a couple lessons there. New keys are G and H. Button. New keys are G and H. Capitals in the period key. Button. Capitals in the period. The caps lock key. Button. Caps lock key. New keys are T and U. Button. T and U. New keys are E and I. Button. New keys are R and N. Button. So let's do, let's say we want R and N. So we can do drills that are based on these lessons. So I'm going to do my up and down for my quick nav. I'm going to select that. Okay, and we're going to flick to the right again. So I can do an instructions. Now I'm going to go to start, and then I'm going to turn quick nav off, and you're going to hear what it wants me to do. Type the following word. Land. L. A. A. N D space until you oop friend F R I E N D space jungle J U N G L E space the rug is hanging there now I'm probably going to have to do period capitals and periods here too the rug is hanging there. The girls are sailing in the sea. The girls are sailing in the sea. A R space. A R space. S R space. D R space. D R space. F R G R space. T R space. H N now I'm going to do an, I'm purposely do a mistake. N space. So you hear like a burnt and then it, it gives you the letter that you're supposed to type. N space. So N space. J N. J N space. K N. K N space. L N. Now I'm going to turn quick nav on real quick. And I'm going to quit. Uh, one thing I didn't do, um, by default it's not on. Uh, which is actually kind of interesting now that I think about it. You notice that, you know, it would tell me which letters to type, <clears throat> but it would not tell me the letters as I was typing them. So key echo is not on by default, um, which for a typing program is actually sort of strange. Um... You know, if you're just learning the keyboard, you kind of like that extra confirmation. I mean, for me, I don't like it on at all because it would, you know, it drives me nuts. But, you know, again, you're the purpose of this program is to learn to type. So it kind of surprises me that key echo is not on by default. Now, I wonder if like 
because I have voiceover, key echo is off. Um, I can't remember if it uses that or if it has its own setting. We'll probably go try to explore that in a little bit. So that's why I was kind of telling you what I was typing and I was kind of pounding on the keys fairly hard so you could kind of hear me typing. But you would hear the ding, you know, when you did it successfully. So those are your drills. Let's go. New keys are E and I. New O O beginner heading practice lessons heading learning modes back button. Let's go back. Learning mode learning modes learning modes heading practice drills lessons button. Let's go to lessons. To start lessons. lessons. I'll show you there lessons. real quick. Learning modes default lessons heading beginner heading home keys for the left hand button. So let's just say I want to go to home keys for the left hand. Let's see what that's like. Home keys quit button. Double instructions button. Start. Button. So I'm going to start and then I'm going to turn quick nav lessons. off. Start. Type the following characters. A, S, D, F, space. Okay, so type the characters A, S, D, F, space. A, S, D. Oh, wait, what? Quick nav off. Okay, I, th I thought I turned quick nav off. A, S, D, F, space. A, S, D, F, space. A, S, D, F, space. F, D, S, A, space. F, D, S, A, space. F, D, S, A. A F D S A space A space A space sad S A D space and it is kind of nice that they say the word and then spell it because sometimes if people have trouble you know I know with like there's another program for the computer sometimes you weren't quite sure what word they wanted you to spell because it sounded like something else I can't think of a specific example but there were a few words and like I don't I'm not quite sure what they wanted me to type so uh, what is it sad I think S A D. Fad. F A. Okay. D. F A D space. A space. A space. A space. A. So it's space. just giving you a lot of um, things to type. Now I'm going to turn quick nav on. Quick nav on. Quit. Quit. And I'm going to go to quit. To quit. Now what I want to look at. Beginner. Home keys for the left hand. I'm going to go to home keys for the left hand again, and then I'm going to go to instructions. instructions. Beginning with your little finger, place the fingers of your left hand on A, S, D, and F. Use your right thumb to press the space bar after each word or set of letters. So that's your rough um, instructions for how to place your hand. Um, so in the very, very beginning... You know, you might want to have somebody there at least to kind of like to help you if you have any questions. But basically, um, they give a little bit of feedback. Let me go to quit. Let me go to a different lesson just to see what instructions they give us here. Let's so let's say I want to go to G and H. Let's go to instructions for this one again. Use your left index finger to strike G. Use your right index finger to strike H. So that's okay, um, but actually, I I would. I mean, I guess they maybe they you're supposed to know that it's on the home row, but I think they could be a little bit better descriptive about that. Um, you know, they could they could say because they say use your left hand to, tr to type G, but okay, where do I move my left hand? If I'm new to the keyboard, I don't know that it's just to the right. You know, so go one key to the right of F is G. You know, being kind of specific like that, so that if you want someone to be fully, you know, do this fully on their own, um, I mean, yeah, you could experiment a little bit, but I mean, I think the directions could be a little better. Um, for the for the Windows computer, there's a program that I like from Marvelsoft called Talking Typing Teacher, and they go a little bit overboard. Some of the stuff is kind of dumb. Like some of the you know they do a lot of like banter between the there's like two um, like two teachers essentially. There's a man and a woman, and you know they, there's some extra stuff that's kind of dingy in there. But overall, I think they do a really good job of you know, giving explicit instructions about, okay, your A key is under your left pinky. Your S key is under your left in uh, ring finger. Your D key is under your left index finger, or uh, middle finger. Good Lord. Your F key is under your left uh, index finger, etc. So this one, like talking typers always seemed a little bit 
a little bit more bare bones, which for some people, like for me, I don't mind. Like I can figure it out. No problem. You know, but I mean, you know, just, I think they could use maybe a little bit better descriptions. I mean, not just for the app, but I mean, <clears throat> I'm thinking if I remember correctly, I think their PC program is very similar. So I think that would be one area where they could maybe, you know, beef it up a little bit, especially like, you know, like I said, for very, very new computer users um, who have no clue where the keys are. That would be one thing that I could say that, you know, oh, uh, computer program app, wherever, I think could be improved a little bit. So let's quit that lesson. And so let me just go through the lessons just so you can see. So G and H, capitals in the period, caps lock, E and I, R and N, V and O, Z and Y. So the, it's nice because once you get past the home row, they only introduce a few keys at a time, usually two keys at a time. B and P, X and Q, Z and comma. So now we go into the advanced heading or advanced lessons. Okay, so you get some more punctuation of quotes and apostrophe. Number keys. So that one you're going to have all the number keys. Let me just see. I'm curious what they say about the number keys. I'm curious what the instructions say. Instructions. Here are the fingers to use for striking the number keys. Left little finger, one left ring finger, two left middle finger, three left index finger, four and five right index finger, six and seven right middle finger, eight right ring finger, nine right little finger, zero. Huh. So the funny thing is, I've, I was always taught back in the day, and I still to this day, um, I, and I've seen that in a couple of other places too, I always use my left uh, index finger to type six. I don't know why, but that's just the way I was taught. And for some reason, that's just what I do. I guess it would make sense, you know, having it with your right index finger, but you know, whatever. Um, okay. So they were a little bit more descriptive on that. Um, quit let's go quit. quit. New keys are slash in question. Brackets and braces. Phrases. So these are good. This is a good lesson, especially, you know, you, you know, the letters, but you're still not, you know, super accurate. You want to get that, you know, you want to do better with your lessons or with your words, typing more natural things. So let's go into, let's go into this one just because. So let's go. Okay. And so we'll go to start. Type the following phrase followed by a space. Todd and odd. Okay, tie the type knot. Type the following phrase, followed by a space. Tie the knot. So I'll turn quick nav off. Hey, I turn. Oh, it actually turned it off on me. Whoops. Oh, interesting. Okay, tie, T I E, the knot. Square meal. Square meal, S Q E R E M E L. Pardon me. Pardon me. Moi. Yours truly. Yours truly. T R U L. Y so that's if I make space. a mistake, T-R-U-L-Y. Up to par. Up to par space. With regard to. With regard to. Knuckle down. Uh, K-N-U-C-K-L-E-D-O-W-N. The cutting edge. The cutting edge. On the ball. On the ball. Good evening. Good evening. Hot potato. Hot, P-O-T-A-T-O. -T -T Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. Your score is 63 words per minute and 0 minutes and 29 seconds. Your accuracy, 97% with 3 errors. Yeah, that was that one time where I hit a button um, a little bit too quickly there. So it gives you usually, I want to say around 20 phrases. And it'll, you know, it gives, again, it gives you your little accuracy there. It gives you your speed. And, you know, 3 errors, not bad, especially for typing. Now, if I was going to do this for real... And if I wasn't typing or if I wasn't talking while I was doing it, probably would have done better. Um, okay. So let's say that I want to do this. I'm going to do this without saying a word and let's just see how well I do. No pressure. <laughs> Type the following phrase followed by a space. Until tomorrow. Okay. 
square meal. U. P. A. R. D. O. Pardon me. Yours truly. Up to par. With regard to E. Knuckle down. The cutting edge. On the ball. Good evening. Hot potato. Until tomorrow. Your score 104 words per yeah. minute in 0 minutes and 18 seconds. Your accuracy. <laughs> 97% with so, four errors. What happened there in the beginning that was I was frustrated because you know me trying to be you know super cool like I I hit a button and then sometimes like you kind of have to wait for it to at least say the word otherwise like if you do it too fast um you'll get a buzz because it won't it may not register. And I found that especially true in hurry scurry which we're going to look at here in just a moment. So there we go. Ha ha. Broke 100 words per minute still. I'm okay with that. Woohoo. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Instructions. All right. So let's uh, quit. Okay. I'm going to do this. The scrub gesture. We're going to go get out of lessons here. Uh, so we're not going to go to custom, excuse me, hiccups, uh, custom lessons, because that's just, we don't have any of those created. Let's go back to our main menu here. So again, I can use a combination of keyboard and the touch screen. So like, you know, I could, um, you know, use my quick nav or I could use commands to go to the top of the screen or whatever. I just reach up in front of my keyboard to the iPad itself and just do my backward scrub gesture with voiceover. So psh, it'll just take us instantly back to our previous menu so we're gonna go I guess I can show you explore the keyboard real quick keyboard exploration just start typing press escape to exit okay quick nav is off H E L O space A space J U S space space T E F T space <coughs> So I'm sorry, I can't help but type fast. Like I don't, and you notice I was kind of hitting the the keys a little bit quicker. So you kind of it just interrupted itself. Now on this keyboard, it's not telling me. It's not telling me my function C keys X. though. Like if I hit Control or F N X C. But you see in the middle of the screen, too, if you're low vision, it shows the D ginormous letter w that you're typing. Two. There's my numbers. Five, colon. Capital P. Okay. Left curly bracket. Greater than sign. Less than sign. At. Space. So there you go. I mean, that's just a simple explore the keyboard. You know, you just want to practice and familiarize yourself with your keyboard layout before you actually start the lessons. You're like, okay, where are the keys? But... I do find it kind of annoying that it's not telling me like my alt key. Now, if I had an Apple keyboard, I'm not sure if that would, since this is an Apple app, maybe because I'm using, you know, a Windows keyboard that does also work on iOS. Um, <clears throat> maybe that's why it's not telling me those. If I was using an Apple branded wireless keyboard, uh, I'm not sure if that would behave any differently. So... That's unfortunate, you know, that it doesn't tell you that. But, okay, we'll hit escape. We're going back. Let's turn our quick nav on. We'll end with a little hurry scurry here. Okay, we'll go to games. Okay, we'll go to hurry scurry. So let's do instructions, as you can hear. Type all the letters or words before the ball hits the floor. Tap the start button to begin play. While playing, press tab to repeat the next character. To stop the game, press the escape key twice, or double tap the stop button. So now I think that was actually a much better instruction than I would say some of the lessons, some of the lesson descriptions of like where the letters are. That was actually, I think, more in depth in what the instructions for a mode should be. So... Instructions, button, speed, button. So I can adjust the speed. Speed. Let's see what speeds we get. Button. 
Slower. Faster. Faster. Let's do faster. Faster. Slower. 28%. Adjust. Slow. Faster. 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 Slower. 28%. 38%. Okay. So I can do the... Okay, let's do... 48%. 58%. We'll do 58 and see if I totally bail. All right, so... Done. And then start. Now, like I said, the problem is when I was trying this earlier, um, <clears throat> you have to wait for her to both say and spell the word before you can actually type. Otherwise, it gets grumpy and it beeps at you. Like if I hear the word and I, if I know what it is without having to spell it, you know, if I hear the word had... Oh, I know how to, you know, that's easy enough. I can type that. Or, like, I understood the speech clearly. Um, you have to s seemingly wait until, you know, until you hear. So, we'll start it. Sad. S. A. D. Hat. H. A. T. Map. M. See, I did it again. Dull. D. U. L. L. Dad. D. A Dang it, I D keep D A D Bath B A T H B A T H Zap Z A P Flask F L A S K Gav G A F Make M A K E M A K E Gulp G U L L Paid P A I D Glass G L A S S G L A S S Jazz Ooh. J A Z Sold. Oh S O L D Lad L A D Save S A V E Dust I think D this goes U until S T you hit three wrong, Lead or you hit L three hit. E you let a three hit the bottom. V e just J U and I've hit a couple S because I've screwed T up. Pat P A T Mark M now You probably can't a hear it. R K. But my Last iPad is making funny like warp, like S T weird noises. Wait, what was I typing here? L A S T. Oh, last. Okay. Task T. A S K didn't D I get an apostrophe in there. Apostrophe T Jag J A G Jet J E T Can't C A N apostrophe T Wax W So let's hit escape X Yes, I do want to quit. Yes. Start. Alert. Your score. Quick nav off. <clears throat> Quick nav on. Let's see what our score was. 1,030 points. Okay. Button. One down. Your score. Your score. 1,030 points. So. Okay. Button. Quit. Button. <laughs> okay. Button. Quit. Button. 1,030 points. I quit. don't. The thing about. I, I. You know. I never really cared for hur Hurry Scurry that much. I would be the one more to do like the phrases practice or I didn't actually, I forgot to, I didn't go through all of the less, the advanced lesson screens. I, once we went through the phrases, but you know, there's like sentence practices and phrases and things like that. I would be more apt to do those than I would hurry scurry because I don't under, you know, I don't know what a thousand thirty points means, you know? It's just like, oh, okay, I'm sure it's based on speed and accuracy, but it really doesn't tell me anything. And eh, I don't know, I'm just, eh, Hurry Scurry's never really done it for me, even on the computer program. I like to know exactly, you know, oh, you know, you typed this many words a minute, you had this many errors, you have, you know, this is your accuracy percentage. <clears throat> to me, that is more useful. Um, that is more useful information than just an arbitrary score. Um, so, the other thing, let me just see if there's like a random thing here, because the other, there's one other thing 
that I don't really like about this program versus, like, let's say, Talking Typing Teacher. Talking Typer. Back um, games. Heading. Talking Typer. Talking Typer. Back button. Yeah, let's go back. Talking t Talking Type. Current user. Lessons and Keyboard Explorer. But let's go to Lessons. lessons. Learning mode. Learning mode. Practice drills. But lessons. But lessons. Default lessons. Learning. Default lessons. Head. Beginner. Heading. Oh, Christ. I'm going to go through all these. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Phrases. Button. More phrases. Button. So phrases. More phrases. Sentences. Button. Sentences. More sentences. Button. More sentences. Special punctuation. And tilde. Button. Special punctuation. Special punctuation. Bang and at. Button. Bang and at. Special so number sign. Number sign and dollar. Special punctuation. Okay, so those are basically you get the lessons that are, you know, doing the punctuation keys that are on your numbers row. Special punctuation, left parenthesis, special punctuation, um, and underscore, special punctuation, equals and plus, special punctuation, back, special punctuation, punctuation, punctuation keypad, special numeric keypad, four, five, six, yeah, well, we don't have the number pad on here, so, and that's it. So, the, the phrases in this, like, I like the phrases, I like the sentences, but, and, and this applies not just to the app, but to their programs in general. One thing I don't like is that I think it's all, like, it's always in the same order. So, you know, like, I remember when I used to ding around with this on the PC, what would happen is, okay, I want to do phrases. You would actually start, you know, if you're practicing, you would actually start to memorize the order in which these drills were coming at you. So you weren't really, um, you know, you were, you were gauging your speed, but it was kind of inaccurate because you weren't going on random things. You know, it's like, oh, I know this is going to be this phrase, then that phrase, then that phrase. Um, and you can kind of cheat the system a little bit. I wish there was like a maybe have an option for random phrases, random sentences, and maybe even having, you know, adding more phrases and sentences to this program. I mean, this program, the drills that are in here are pretty much the same as the pre PC program. And I think the core of this is basically like, I want to say the core of this talking typer. I remember talking typer, talking typer for the Apple II. Thank you very much. I remember doing this on the Apple II and the Apple II GS. So the core of this program hasn't changed in, I mean, not that it has to, because, I mean, a keyboard is a keyboard is a keyboard, except for, like, the extra function keys. But, like, you know, the letter keys, the numbers and punctuation haven't changed. But, like, you know, they haven't really added much in the last few decades that the program has been around in various forms. So a couple of things where I think they could really add is, like I said, I would add like something where they have, you know, random phrases, random sentences, random words, like go, I'm going to go back to talking, typing teacher again. You know, they had their phrases and stuff inside of the lessons, but then you would have se separate things for key practice, word practice and sentence practice, and there were different, like, level one, two, and three of different sentence complexities. And that was really nice, because it's like, you don't necessarily want to go through a whole lesson, but you want to, you know, practice typing your phrases. Now, even in Talking Typing Teacher, I think they needed to add more phrases and words and sentences over time, because they're, you know, after a while, you do this and, you know, even, the, even though it's random, like, you like, oh, okay, I know the kind of the phrases that are going to be coming up because there's not a whole bunch of them. You know, there are several, but, you know, you get to, you, know, you get to learn the, um, the phrases and sentences and stuff pretty, fairly quickly. So, uh, but I think some, some form of randomness would actually help. Um, you know, that way you're not just memorizing and like regurgitating because if I were to do this, you know, I think, like I said, when I did this on the Apple II way back when, you know, I was like, what, how, like in elementary school still, I, I did the very thing, you know, where I would like just do a drill over and over and over again. And it would make my, my teacher and the rest of the students mad because of this hall of fame, 
and I would get, I think my top score was like 186 words per minute, which yes, I was typing fast, but I was, like I said, I did that because I knew exactly, I, I didn't let the, the, the voice read. I knew the sequence. So I'd just go, you know, and just keep typing super fast. Didn't listen to it and just, you know, completely killed everything. Um, so there is, you know, some, you can kind of game it that way. Um, the other thing that would be kind of helpful, and I can't remember, I want to say that Talking Typing Teacher has this, where it's like a free type, you know, instead of just a keyboard explorer, I want to say there's like a free type mode where you're just dumped into like a notepad and you can say, I want to type for three minutes or one minute, three minutes, five minutes. And then you can just type whatever you want and you want to try to type words, you know, that are in its dictionary. You know, if you use probably weird tech words and acronyms, it's not going to count those, but like maybe just type what you did during the day or type about a certain topic that you're interested in. You just, you know, type like you, like you would if you were writing a paper or a letter or an email. And then after that time limit was up, you know, it would tally. Um, this is how many words you typed. This is your, your speed. This is your accuracy. Cause that's more of like a realistic, um, it's like another realistic typing drill that can be monitored. So those are just some thoughts for future improvements that they could add to this. But, you know, overall it's, it's a great app. Um, you know, this APH talking typing teacher, it's or talking typer. I apologize. I sorry about that. It's called Talking Typer. <laughs> it is available on the iOS App Store as of now. And it is only five bucks. I mean, come on. I, you know, like I said, I know I always say this, but, you know, I, everybody, they want stuff for free. But this is a steal. I want to say, I don't remember what the PC program is. If it's anything like the other one, it's close to a hundred bucks. But, um, five bucks for this app. Um, and you know, to be able to do individual or, you know, different groups or different many students for typing lessons, you know, maybe you're just have an iPhone. You can use this with your iPhone as well. Um, you know, but maybe you've typed forever, but you just, you're not very good at the number keys or you want to brush up on some of the number row punctuation or just, you know, you've, you're typing, but you want to increase your speed. This is a good way to do that. You know, to go into your phrases and sentences and go do that. So, you know, um, there's definitely, and it's cheap enough. Like I said, I think I was actually, when they so released this, I was actually surprised at how cheap it was. I was thinking it was going to be, you know, 50, somewhere between 50 and hundred bucks, but five bucks, pff, that's a steal. Um, but yeah, so there, there is kind of a tour of the talking typer program for iOS available now. And, uh, yeah, just some overall thoughts and future improvement suggestions for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH seven, nine. And until next time, I will talk to you guys in the next one later. <laughs>